this one, I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. Time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Varone Sniper the Boss Richards. 180 centimeters tall with a 70.9 inch reach. And standing across from him, one of the greatest to ever do it, the boxing legend, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt, the other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. Lerone Sniper the Boss Richards. This tough and rugged light heavyweight is always looking for a good brawl. <laughs> Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The fans are going mad for this. This bout is scheduled for... In the red corner, from Surrey, England, a British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion, Larone, Sniper the Boss Richards. Fighting out of the blue corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. So much hype surrounding this big matchup. Can't wait to see what goes down when the opening bell rings. Right. This place is like a coliseum. When it's packed out, the fans are there. You can hear their punches. You can smell the sweat. The heat is second to none. And there's the bell for round one. He misses with that jab. to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. You've done everything tonight, and you know what? When you're in a theater, you know you've got to perform. There's no cutting corners. There's no making up excuses because you're going to be so transparent. All laid out there. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Nice counter. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. <laughs> he just misses with that big right hand. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. You, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this far.
Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Punch count. We've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. The clock is ticking. They've got him hurt, but can they finish? Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. Counter right hand there. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Good counter right hand again. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then it looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. And there it is the knockdown punch we knew was coming. point the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down some fighters when this happens this can be heartbreaking some fighters it makes them angry they want to get back into the mix again i want to know what sort of character are we looking at here beautiful counter punch you miss with that jab Left counter punch will score. Counter right. They better start respecting each other's punching power. It looks like this one's going to be over. What a shot that put him down. The referee's down and watching him close. Come on, make it. You can do it. Bambi legs walking back to the corner, but he's still in it. There's always a way back. Don't ever run. Anybody? Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? You've got to be feeling confident now after what happened last round. I have no idea what they have left. What? How? How'd you come back from something like that? Not on twice? How, where's your head at? Where's your energy levels at? It tells you you've got nothing left. Another scoring shot there. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Fails to score with that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice counter punch. That punch landed. He just misses with that jab. Threw the hook, didn't land. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. And just as quickly as the actions, you know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. There's the bell for round four. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on. Well, hold everything! There it is! A game-changing shot! That was the moment! That left counter was perfectly timed. That's a scoring left hand. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. High punch. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. That counter shot lands. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice counter shot. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up by ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. into the fray here in round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. with that uppercut. Oh, and he rocked him. And now we'll see what kind of finish. And he just knocked it down. They'll make it up, and this fight continues. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Nice. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that... Beginning of round six. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know the one shake your leg. And that's here, away from getting stopped. Left 
punch. What a punch. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he misses with the left uppercut. And he misses with that jab. Punch is coming from every angle. Good counter punch. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. The exchange punches. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there. Round seven, here we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt, you've got to get out there again. Be smart, be sharp. Don't be a fool, don't get suckered in. Make him fight, your fight. Hold him, tie him up, just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. the famous boxing movies, the training. Oh my word, Canelo just got clipped. Well, he's got him right where he wants him. Can he put him away? I thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. That punch lands. Offensive display, landing that left counter. Who's willing to go where the other fighter won't? How do they use this fighter's aggression? Can he do it? What a massive upset this would be. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. It's like a game of joust. It's... Oh, and he rocked him. Oh, boy, that one's got to hurt, and down he goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's onward and upward after another knockout win here. A knockout victory. That is God. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.